Well, hey, what's up? It's Finger Angle. We're, uh, we're going to take a look at the arm we broke last week and the grain structure of it. Uh, this is fur. It's, uh, it's a, it was an old rafter, old growth fur. It's probably 60, 80 years old. I've been saving for years. Um, but you can see there's some linear fracture to it, but the main chunk of it is, is really just right here. Like right there. Um, this is the other half. I had it banded. I was using the, um, the reinforced packing tape um, on Timber Whipper. I used Fiber Fix. And this stuff is super, super, super strong. Uh, we used a bunch of it. They actually sent that to us. Uh, Fiber Fix sent that to us. So, yeah, thank you. I didn't ask them on this build. There was really, we did it in a week. There's really no time. Um, and this stuff failed. So, yeah, wish, uh, wish I would have called them or something or just bought it, I guess. I don't know. I have uh, three other arms here. These are golf ball, were golf ball arms. Um, you can see their fracture is real long. Um, the 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 fractures are, you know, they're the the whole length of the arm. These weren't banded. Uh, this fracture was similar to these, but I had to, I have it taped with some clear tape um, just to for display purposes. This arm is poplar, and you can see that yeah, it does have this long crack right here. I don't know if y'all can see that in this light. Sorry, kind of clouded up on me. Um, but really, it's straight across too so poplar I only made a couple arms out of it didn't like like the way it performed uh, the way it performed uh, pine has really been the best performer out of well oak fir poplar um, other types of pine have done okay uh, but on a much smaller scale um, Obviously, the fur is not strong enough for the forces we're dealing with here. And the grain, I don't like the way the grain structure, I don't like the way it came apart. Uh, we do have some elongate, you know, some long cracks in it. Uh, which I guess the banding did hold together. Um, on that, see there's some real long cracks. A few of them in here. Uh, but this banding held it held it together uh, you know that's significant there's like 10 or more wraps of this stuff on those so uh, but you know obviously it, it didn't do anything here it it came apart uh, but all good learning learning the material uh, these are all uh, oval shaped arms uh, really modeled are really sculpted um, into you know for aerodynamics and for weight. Uh, um, I used to perforate them, um, but that that just proved to be weak spots. Uh, so now I just go with the uh, geometry and banding, and that's that's doing pretty well. That arm is really overbuilt. That's that's the big whipper. It's up on blocks right now. Um, but the other pine arms have done real well. Laminated uh, yellow pine have always has, has done us real well. Here's our sling. Um, it 
came off of Industrial Palace, some kind of 10,000 pound webbing stuff, um, 11,000 pound, um, and I Gorilla glued it and grommet it, uh, not grommet, uh, pop riveted, um, so that, that's held up real well. Our, um, our line, Kevlar line, uh, let's see if I'm going to forget the, the name, Samson, uh, Amstel Blue, uh, Samson is the manufacturer and, and Amstel Blue is the line, even though it's orange, uh, we have it on our winch, um, this is, uh, quarter inch, it's good for like, uh, over 6,000 pounds, I think, um, it's black, uh, but I like to use orange for our sling lines, um, just for brightness and, and makes it faster, makes the arm faster, makes the sling faster. <laughs> uh, what else? Um, the release pin on this thing is huge. Let me see if I, I have, I thought I had some bolts or some of these screws out here I guess they're in the truck so never mind on that uh, I'll show you that another time exactly what it is it's a great big wood screw and it comes like back to here uh, that's you know, seven eight inches or something um, so, new arm design. I guess the way I did uh, built it up is cool. And probably what I'm going to do is I'll go with a, the treated yellow pine, laminated. I like to go in threes, but I've done it in, in two, you know, two, two pieces uh, with the posing grain. And all of these grains on these things, in, on my arms, I like to go, I bet you can't even see that. I like to go with uh, vertical grain you know the grain going up, up like this uh, so all of these arms are the grain is run like that um, I can strengthen I can I, I can extend I can extend this piece out out to here which will the, the whole arm is you know it, it's it's I, I didn't see any bend in in any of the video um, or any steels on this arm it just there was no flex to it it just let go um, but again we're dealing with you know many thousands of pounds like probably six thousand pounds of uh, force on this thing um, so yeah not strong enough it's just a single it's a two by six it's two by six fur uh, so inch and a half by five and a half uh, the laminated arm starts out that material I get is five quarter decking treated decking material and it's it's a full they, they call it four quarter or uh, five quarter it's it's actually it's a full one inch thick uh, four, four, four quarter inch thick material uh, then we have some 2x6, this is treated 2x6, uh, or no, is it, is it treated? I, I don't know if it's treated or not, it, it doesn't really matter, but it, it is yellow pine. Um, and you can see how I have, have the grain or, orientation. It's uh, going like a curve, like, can y'all see that? Or like that so because grain wants to straighten out so it these edges are going to want to curve in um so when you set do it like this it keeps the um keeps this gap closed keeps this joint from separating oh look at that there's a a ladybug on the arm nice um so gorilla glued it and there's some pins in it um lightweight pins like brad nails really um but gorilla glue gorilla glue a few pins um 
up here we have some of that decking material and it. it's also its grain is also orientated so it it wants the, the tops that grain wants to flatten out so it wants to go back the other way so it keeps these joints tight and that was glued and uh, screwed no light you can't see that uh, maybe <laughs> so we'll extend these out some more um, the geometry was okay on the arm uh, you know it was nice and rounded uh, weight distribution on it felt good um, well we're gonna have to go heavier it's gonna have to be heavier and I'm gonna play with the geometry more um, so yeah that's it I also thought about uh, just use cutting this arm back and building uh, using it as the core just keeping everything there and building off of this core uh, with a tubing a square tubing or something else a metal some type of metal and use that as the core uh, so that might happen uh, just for the heck of it kind of a hybrid arm I guess um, anyways take it easy